and welcome to ET Garage. Today's video is going to be about an externally balanced crankshaft on a small block Chevy. Okay, uh, since I'm still waiting for the block to get back from the machine shop, I think this will, next week will be actually week five. It was supposed to be three weeks. Like this Friday was week four and next week will be week five so anyway i'm getting impatient but anyway i've been getting everything ready i pretty much did everything i could do uh you know there's nothing more, there are little things i could probably do more if i want to get real finicky but while i'm waiting for the block i figured i'd go over the difference between a uh externally balanced crank and a internally balanced crank on gen one small blocks as far as I know, they were all internally balanced until they came out with the small block 400. When they came out with the small block 400, those were externally balanced. And hot rodders did is they took the crankshafts out of the 400s, machined down the journals, because the journal sizes are different, to fit a small block 350, bored them 30 over, and that's how you came up with the 383 stroker motors. And... Uh, if they used the factory crank that was extra and early balanced, they would uh, have to use the components that go with it, like the flex plate, which has this externally balanced counterweight. That's why it's called externally balanced. And the home damp dampener, like you see in here, it has that weight inside there. And that's because this is uh, externally balanced. Uh, whenever you buy a flex plate and a hermetic dampener, you got to make sure... You get the right one. If it's for an internally balanced crank, you got to make sure it's the correct one. If it's externally, you got to make sure that's the correct one. I'm not sure how to tell on the crankshaft if there's, it's just the way it's balanced or if they're totally cast and machined different. I don't know about that, but I do know if it's externally balanced, you need to have that weight on the flex plate and you need to have that weight on the harmonic balancer. Harmonic balancers come different uh, designs too. Like the, I think the uh, factory one, it's just sort of like the weight's just cast into it and it's a machined, uh, machine difference on the external side. But this one has the weight internally and plus it's uh, also uh, machined for that area there too. So uh, something to keep in mind, uh, if you have an externally balanced crankshaft, make sure you have the external flex plate and harmonic balancer. So. I guess I'll end the video here, and I hope everybody has a great day, and God bless.